Last year, the State Department of Justice wrapped up an 18-month review of sexual assault cases in the Wisconsin National Guard. The review followed a 2019 investigation by the Federal National Guard that found at least 33 sexual assault cases were mishandled. Dozens of botched investigations between 2009 to 2019 were examined, and it was discovered the Wisconsin National Guard sometimes failed to track these cases and to punish the perpetrators. Traders. Well, former Wisconsin Guard Chief Major General Donald Dunbar was fired in 2019 over those findings. The DOJ turned its review over to local district attorneys who ultimately declined to prosecute and determined that more needs to be done to prevent future problems. Now well, that brings us to today. The state legislature wants to make some changes to the Wisconsin National Guard. A study committee worked this past year to make sure that the state doesn't face similar issues in the future, drafting bills that will be introduced in the next session. Political reporter Will Keneally sat down with the chair of the committee and joins us now with more. Will? So we have the results of that uh, investigation and hearing public testimony. Now that study committee's job is to translate that into laws for change. Now, Representative Tony Kurtz says that nothing can be an end-all be-all approach, but he says that this is a good first step. We don't want this to happen again. That was the conclusion of a legislative study committee asking what to do with the National Guard's mishandling of sexual misconduct. The answer, introduce a series of changes as to how the National Guard operates, making it a more open process. And I think that's where that transparency comes in to say, okay, you know, every year now the Guard is going to give us a report. That report will go to the governor and lawmakers and include data on the number of reported sexual assaults and harassment in the Guard and what policies the Guard has put in place to prevent those incidents. And I think these bills are just going to enhance those those checks and balances. Another bill would help align the Wisconsin Guard's policies with the Federal Uniform Code of Military Justice. Members of the Wisconsin National Guard operate under something different, the Wisconsin Code of Military Justice. An airman or, or a soldier that's on weekend drill up at Fort McCoy or, Camp or Volk Field, they fall, they're not UCMJ, they fall under the Wisconsin Code of Military Justice. The changes would require regular reports on where Wisconsin's code differs from the federal code. Prior to uh, the unfortunate events that happened, it, that was out of whack. And that was one of the, one of the focuses, how, we, how do we, and that's one of the, one of the bills addresses to bring that up to, up to standards with the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Those bills will be brought to the legislature next year. They have bipartisan support, including the governor. I heard he was, he was supportive, so that's a good sign. So, so a good news story. So Representative Kurtz says that the Guard's current leadership has been transparent throughout the process and has been proactive about making changes in the wake of the investigation. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now.